Yo, hello everyone and welcome to our channel. If you are running a Shopify store, adding email pop-ups can help you increase your email subscribers and grow your customer base. In this video, we will show you how to install Revo email pop-ups on your Shopify store. Step by step, we will cover everything from installing the Revo app to creating and customizing your email pop-ups. We will also provide some tips and best practices to help you make the most of your email pop-up feature, from setting up email marketing campaigns to analyzing your pop-up data. So whether you are a new Shopify store owner or looking to improve your email marketing strategy, let's get started and install Revo email pop-ups on your Shopify store today. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first thing first, I will need you to go ahead and launch your browser. Right after that, go ahead into the URL section and search for Shopify as you can see here. Then go and open your Shopify store if you have it. If not, you can just create one really easy as you can see here. Let's go ahead and start free trial. And here you will be able to create your shop. So first you'll have to answer some questions of these. So let's get started with which one of these best describes you. I'm already sitting online I'm, I'm just starting so let's go with this one next online store next um, just random stuff and finally next here choose the name so random name and then next here the region finally here you have to create a Shopify ID so I will continue with Google and I will sign in using this email now they are building your store so give them a little bit of time and your store shall be created in a brief of seconds. So it's going to be maximum around 30 seconds to your shop be created. And so they can give you your own dashboard. As you can see, they have already created it for me. Now, let me just change the language of this dashboard and I will be right back to you guys. And here I am. Now, after I've changed the language, what I'm going to do is simply to add the pop-up email application or plugin, how to add it to our store, simply by going to this section of applications, click on it, and then go to the print. So let's click here to add an application. And from here, all you need to do is go to the Shopify store. Here, you can just go to this menu and search for Rival. And here I'm going to choose Rival Pop-Ups Email Pop-Ups. So before we get started and see how to add the app, let's get ahead and view the demo store. How it's going to look like when you add this pop-up. So this is the pop-up that you will have when you add this plugin. For example, you will have one 10% off enter your email to claim an instant 10% off code to use on your order. For example, you just have to put here the email and then they, they will get the discount code. This is just one type of the pop-ups that you can use. So let's try it out in our website. As you can see, the pop-up is completely free. So click on add application. And now, click on install app from here. Then, they will take us to the page where we're gonna wait a little bit until it is fully loaded and downloaded. So, great to see you loaded. Here it is, the page of the pop-up uh, like plugin. So, here we go. Install review reviews if you'd like to start generating sales, etc. Let me just close this. Now, view and enable opt-in pop-up. So, let's click on it. And this is simply how it's gonna look like in the beginning can change everything in here. So let's start. This is pop-up name. We're not going to change it. This is the percentage of, for example, fixed amount exactly, something like that. Uh, this is the coupon code that they will receive if they have written their email here. So you can choose, for example, discount value, let's change it to 20. And here it is, it's gonna be 20. 
here for example the text you can change every single text in this page from over here so you can get 20 percent off sign up to unlock an instant discount for example subscribe to get every news here from email address email address here placeholder so we can say write your email at uh, dot com let me just change this like that email.com here claim discount button action test saving footer text you are signing up to receive communication via email can unsubscribe at any time this mistakes for example no thanks so you can cancel it finally here the title discounts unlocked when they actually send earned uh, write their email here the body thanks for subscribing copy your discount code and apply it to your next order But in text so literally everything here in this page is actually modified So you can modify everything adjust it to what you like and what you feel like So let's go here to the last thing which is style here. We'll find the style here You can add and change the font uh, the size of the font on the box, content alignment, left, center, right, whatever you feel like, and here the color. So here it is the title. You can change the color of the title. You can add the background color. Um, you can add like uh, let's add the button background. We can make it blue. We can make this blue as well. This one pink. Um, this one like green. Um, for the text, we can make it uh, um, yellow. So, I'm going to change everything so you can see that you are actually going to edit everything. So, as you can see, I have edited everything. You can add here a logo if you have some kind of a logo. For example, I'm going to add this Microsoft Teams logo over here position left, right, none. Uh, it depends on where you want to add and the background image if you'd like. Let's add this cat image so this is just an example background as you can see you can make it in the left you can make it in the right or even something like none so you can hide it so yeah this is pretty much it so here it is the success state how it's gonna be looking like when people actually put their own email they will receive the code here so after that you just have to click here to continue shopping and like you can edit this as well as you can see here it is success state so this is the message you can edit everything over here so yeah guys this is completely it that's how you can actually add this rival application to your shopify store now all you need to do is save everything and it will be on your store when you will publish it and actual customers will be able to see it when they first open the page so yeah guys thanks a lot for watching if you have any more questions please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one so you can have complete understand of this topic so yeah guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video